hey, I had a thought. I'm demoing some other videos on how to create 3D environments using depth maps. What if we just use the portrait mode on your iPhone? I know it's been shown out on the web a little bit, but in all those examples, you're downloading extra code. Why bother installing software when we could do it in Photoshop? Now, look, asterisk to this. I tried this on Photoshop on the Windows side using the latest version. I, would, I didn't have access to the depth layer, but on the Mac side, look, it's right over there. After I airdropped my file to my Mac, I then opened it with Photoshop. Usually we're in layer mode, but skip over to channels and look at that. Click, 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 click. There's the grayscale image, the depth map that we're looking for. Next, do a command A or control A, copy all that, make a new document, file new, and look at that. It makes the document exactly the same size that we need it. Command V for paste, or again on PC, it's control V. All right, save this out. And now we have a grayscale layer. Going back to the image, let's save that out too. Excellent. Now we have a shortcut. And with a little experiment, I'm sure you could get wonderful results. Now let's put it all together in After Effects. Save your file first. This way you won't get any random caches happening on your system. After Effects needs a path. Otherwise, it'll put everything in a temp space. And you don't want that because that temp space will grow, grow, grow. Import the images. That's the foreground and background. File import. That's the depth map. And holding down the control or command key to also select the foreground image. Click on import. Drag both of those files down into your time. Then make this timeline, let's say 10 seconds long. You're not going to use all that. Click OK. Everything's aligned. Next up, Apply the displacement map. Look under effects and presets, type in the word map, and drag that displacement map to the foreground image. That's the colorful one in the background, right there. Go up here with this foreground image selected. Go to effect controls, and for the displacement map layer, select the layer number one, depth map. That's the grayscale one. We're almost ready. Make sure to hide that layer right there. One more step, it's actually two. For the use color for displacement, horizontal and vertical, select luminance, both of them. This is the grayscale image. Zoom in. All right, we're ready to do some displacement. I'm gonna go for the max dis vertical displacement and just drag that number up and down. Look at that, it's almost in. 3D. Hope you enjoyed this small tutorial on using your iPhone to capture the depth map and apply it in After Effects. Look at the description below and you'll see other links to applying depth maps also to create 3D environments.